Workshop 3 Brushing in Black One of the things um, I like to encourage people to do is to put down their pencils when they're drawing and start to try and draw with a brush. So I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to draw with a brush and how many different marks you can actually make with it. The first thing to remember is actually how you hold it. You shouldn't be holding it as it on for dear life. It should be something that's just hanging in your hand and you should be allowing the brush to do the marks for you. So I've got some thin acrylic paint here which is um, like a cheap version of Indian ink and I'm just going to dip my brush in don't put the handle in as well and to start the procedures I'm just going to write my name to show how you can make different marks with this brush so I'm going to put the point down and then press down to make a mark So you can see I'm making different marks that are going to make up the letters of my name. We're using different pressure, the marks become thinner and thicker. Each time you replenish your brush before you make the next mark. Having done my name, you will see the certain marks here that that looks like a petal, for example, and some of these marks maybe look like leaves on trees. And you'll see in the next um, process I show you that I will be using these marks to actually do a drawing of a flower or a tree. I have got some other brushes here as well um, of different sizes and shapes so these d do uh, different marks as, as well which I can show you later. Right, I've got some things here from the garden and um, I'm going to choose something to show you how you can draw something without doing a fine outline or anything like that. All you're going to do is use brush strokes to achieve that image. Well, we're only using this um, as a starting point for a painting or drawing and as you know we're not using any colour so what we're looking for is the actual shapes and forms within the, um, the barley that we're painting. So I'm going to dip my brush in here and do just a line to indicate the stalk. And I'm not worrying about scale, I'm just using it to practice my um, painting techniques and the shape of the brush strokes. So I'm going to use a brush stroke for each of the um, kernels on the corn. And pressing and then releasing to make it thinner and thicker. Right, to get these fine lines I've decided to change brush because this has got a fine edge to it so I'm just going to use that flat, e flat edge and then I'm going to just move my arm like this very freely to get the effect of the lines.
I've actually uh, found something really beautiful as a contrast to this very long um, image here. Beautiful um, rounded bulbous forms inside the petals. So I'm going to use the brush strokes again to create those images. Again, we're not worrying about colour. So I'm going to go back to the other brush again. Dip it into the paint. And I'm going to first of all work on this flower here. So I'm going to work on that piece first. Just one brush stroke. And then work down. Changing the pressure on my brush all the time to create shapes. Now I'm going to work on a couple of the buds. Which are just a couple of brush strokes tied together at the front. And once I've done these I can have some fun change brushes again now I haven't used this one yet but this is a got a nice fine point to it so I'm going to with one stroke do the stamens and so on it's very important just to do one stroke sometimes you need to steady your hand with your elbow on the table and then we need some stems But all the time really try hard just to do one stroke. I'm just changing the pressure all the time just to change the shape of the brush stroke. And in the next workshop, you'll be able to see how to transfer these techniques into lovely colours. So I'm just going to finish off this last piece now. And as you can see, this is only a design. I've used this leaf as a starting point and it has no outline. It's just brush strokes that build up the pattern. And it's just a very good way of practicing your brush strokes for future drawing.